What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mark Chilo from Marcel Garcia Black Bell, five time world champ, big us. Guys, welcome back. If you're already subscribed, and if you're not subscribed, please consider to subscribe because this video, this channel is made for you to help your Jiu Jitsu grow, right? So now I have a special request. So please subscribe the channel because the percentage that people watch this video, watch my channel, it's amazing. I really, really appreciate uh, uh, everybody from watching, but you guys are forgetting to subscribe the channel because that's what's gonna help me keep going stronger. So please, if you can subscribe and help and support the channel, I, I'm gonna appreciate even more and more, okay? So I need you guys support because uh, I do this for fun, but I really wanted to, request that so please subscribe the channel share the videos and give a thumbs up okay but you only do it if you like it okay because i'm honest i'm clean with my uh, 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 uh with my ideas i'm always honest so if you really like the videos which has a ton of comment just please subscribe the channel okay so today also was one of the requests so the last one today is going to be how to finish from north uh, for side control I'm gonna present you guys the scarf choke, right? The scarf is like when you wrap around the neck with your own lapel. There is a ton of chokes, use your own lapel. And today I'm gonna go over that, okay? And then also, twice after that, I'm gonna show you guys how to get triangle from, um, from side control using my opponent's lapel, okay? To trap right there. So we're gonna be a triangle, the scarf choke, triangle choke plus a uh, 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 cross choke with a baseball choke from side control. All right, before we continue the lesson today, make sure you subscribe the channel, like the videos, and comment below. I appreciate your support. Big O. Awesome. See right here, Matt. Go right here, lay down. So I'm gonna be on side control. Okay. So right here, getting under the head. So insulate this arm right there. Okay. So choke in general can be very tricky. Okay, so I'm gonna use my own lapel without letting Matt see what's coming, okay? So I'm gonna stay low, okay? And my hands can stay connected. Now, if I disconnect my hands, I have to place my hands anywhere where my bottom hands are secure, okay? So when I get here, now my head is blocking Matt's vision right here. What I wanna do, I wanna come up with these hands now with these hands, I'm gonna open up my own lapel, okay? I'm gonna get a far lapel, get this good grip right here, okay? So now, if I do this, Matt's gonna see it and he's gonna start blocking, right? So the sneak way for here is try to get my hands, my elbow down and give to these hands, okay? So what I wanna do with this hand, open up, I wanna go right there, get this grip. When I get this grip, it's gonna be super hard for him to stop, okay? Even if you put the hands right here, it's gonna be super powerful. I'm gonna choke him with the hands, okay? With the fingers right there. So what I wanna do is if, if he put the hands in. Now this hand is free, I deliver it to the, back, the bottom hands. Now this arm is gonna go block the hip. What's gonna finalize the choke is my body movement. I need to start moving myself to the north-south, right? So now my head cannot be on this side. My head had to go on the other side and the choke is right there, okay? So more I go get a good grip on the lapel, more I put my head on the side, maybe he doesn't tap, but depending how sensitive the person is, all I have to do here is I want to lift my, I got to put my head to the side, okay? So from here, head on the side, look how my hip gonna come up. Now the choke is in and then I let go, okay? So most of the time the lapels are open. So if the lapels are open, it's even better. But if you're not open, just open right there, okay? So from here, let's go on the other side. So from here, I'm tight, right? There, now I open my hand, control. Now, keep my head down. I'm gonna open my lapel, okay? And now from here, I wanna deliver to these hands. Get the grip nice and tight, 
Okay, so now this hand goes on the side hip. Now for here, guys, what I have to do here is move my leg. Now my head gonna go on this side. Now I wanna elevate my hip where the choke is right there. Okay, so I prefer get to the far collar, but the near collar also work. So for here, but the near side collar is a little bit difficult to get. So from here, I get this collar, boom. Okay, so now from here, block. I need to get to the north south as far as I can. I step. Now my head goes here. Okay, and then from here, and I'll just pull, and the choke is right there. So the difference from the near lapel for the far lapel, I believe, is the range of motion. If I go for the far lapel, it's easy to get. Okay, but it's a little bit more hard to turn, okay, which works the same way. The near side lapel, it's hard to get, but easy to turn, okay? So just mess around and see which one you feel, but you feel, uh, feel stronger. But the scarf choke, it's amazing, works really well because the person doesn't require much hands control, hand switch. So we just have to be sneak right there, okay? So now what I wanted to do from here, and here inside control, most of the time, the person bring this frame in to create space. And I cannot fight against this frame. Every time the person frames my neck, it's going to be like, uh, I'll say 99.9% of the time, the person is going to win the battle because I cannot fight with my neck. Okay, but there's a solution right here. What I want to do, I want to open the lapel. Okay, so you can keep right here so you guys can see how it works. I'm here, right? Go on this side. Now, I want to get near this arm. I want to get this arm right on the front of my hip. So I have the head. Once again, once I open up my hands, I have to get a grip anywhere here. Now, I want to stay tight as much as I can. Now, guys, I'm going to open his lapel, the far one, and I'm going to pass as far as I can. Now I put pressure on his frame right here so he makes uh, uh, stronger. Okay, so now I'm going to open this hand, like pass my lapel over. Now get this grip as tight as I can. Now I insulated this frame. So now my push against me. He's not, he cannot even touch my neck anymore. Okay, so now number one thing, what I want to do, I want to pull as tight as I can. Now guys, it's easy. I wanna bring this elbow glue on his body. Now I'm gonna use my fist on the mat. I'm gonna come up, lean towards the arm that I'm holding right here. I'm insulating this arm. Now from here, I wanna pass my leg over, pick his head up, bring my knee right there, okay? Now I don't need this hand anymore, so I'm gonna start loosening up the lapel, get my shin. Now I can finish triangle right from the top. Okay, and I'll finish right here. It's gonna be the easiest triangle setup you can ever do it because the person doesn't have much control. And then from here, you can finish on a triangle, like you can see from here. You can finish on the arm bar, or you can even roll, keep rolling. Now hip up, cross, and then do a better just, and then finish right there. So this is gonna be Coming from the scarf choke, the person block, use the person's uh, 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 own lapel to finish. So let's see again. So let's switch sides to so get different, yes, different reaction. So I insulated this arm in, secure. Now my hands from here, I open up, lock it in, keep weight on it. I open my partner's lapel. Now I pass over. Once I get to this collar, the person lose power in this arm, okay? So now I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna lean towards this side so my leg goes over. Now I pick the head up, pass my leg and make a pillow right there. Let go the collar, hold the shin. This knee has to go on the mat. Now I can go for the triangle or I can step up and bring my elbow back and finish on the umbo right here. Okay, so that's gonna be the easy triangle front side control. 
okay? And the final one here, the final choke. Invest in your Jiu Jitsu today. There is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. There is three lasso guard instructionals, one for each need. There is winning double knee position. Everything starts for the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the lasso guard. If you want to check it out, go at bjfanatics.com and don't wait. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. Gonna be here, using the same lapel, I insulate this arm. I'm here, okay? The last choke, I'm going to go wrap this arm, get the lapel. My hands going to be like the shoulder. My hands have to be under the head, okay? So now from here, he has no hands to defend. What I want to do, palms up, I want to grab the same lapel, boom, same lapel. Now all I have to do is, L comes up and I'm going to walk to the north-south, step. Now just be careful, but doesn't have hands to tap. So I want to use my shoulders on his body, elevate. Now I'm going to tripod base with the baseball choke right there and then finish so it's a really good setup as well from white belt to the black belt this is going to be one of the powerful choke you can do from side control because you insulate the person's arm okay so coming from the same idea you just connect the, the chain right there the chain right there so from here try to finish 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 open up give the lapel trap lock it's so powerful this Control. Bring your hand as low as possible under his neck. Now from here, I can go under his hands, grab, or I can go over the hands, pinch his hands in, get a collar. Nice and tight. Now I want to bring my elbow down, but if I don't move my body, I won't get the angle. So I have to start stepping. Boom. From here, my weight's on my knee. More to weight on his body, more the choke gets tight. Look, and then from here, the person tap. Okay, so those are the baseball choke from uh, uh, the, the, the top. You have the scarf choke, use your own lapel. You have the triangle set up or holding your opponent's lapel plus the baseball choke right there. So this one, the, Three strong attack that I believe that anybody can do it. So make sure you practice that. And you're gonna see the difference of the control, the amazing how the control it is from the top, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if, please, if you like it, just give a thumbs up, share the video with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel, okay? So thank you so much. And also, if you wanna check it out, my instructionals at BG Fanatics, I'm gonna put the link around the description of this video and I'm also going to put a link right on top of the video so you guys can check it out. So thank you so much.